the narcissist concept that everybody's dealing with right now. I'm going to destroy it and build it at the same time. Walk with me. This term came out and it was explosive. It was a title. It's letters. It's, it's vibrations to this term. Go back. The divine says stay away from judgment. Ultimately, if you are walking with the divine, the type of person doesn't matter because you are serving every each and individual person with unconditional love of divine presence. We get mixed up in propaganda so much, and I spoke on this in one of my other videos. We speak these terms in a crowd because it makes the voice louder. That doesn't make it right. Now, I'm not saying that the narcissist is right by any means necessary. I'm not saying that the term narcissist doesn't equate. I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying if you're walking down the street and you've seen a pile of shit, are you going to discern what type of shit it is or are you just going to move past it? If it's horse shit, cow shit, donkey shit, dog shit, cat shit, if it's in your way, are you going to examine the type of shit it is or are you going to walk around it? See, this is the point. If I'm if I'm dealing in divine, there's no judgment that I have to carry. My job is to carry divine pretense. So even before I end up meeting a narcissist, if they notice me before I notice them, I'm bringing I'm bringing divine to them anyway. The point is, if divine allows us to meet, will I be capable to bring divine in, showing unconditional love? Despite what I found out about an individual. That's the real war you're dealing with. Every day, on every level, in every circumstance, to every characteristic. There's no divide in that. There's no this type of person, that type of person. I was just sitting there listening to this, um, this other lady from up north. She was going crazy, like... Just let it all. She was real. She was saying a lot of vulgar stuff. Be this and suck this and all this. And she had a good vernacular with herself. You could tell she was educated, but she was mad. And she was talking about this dude and that dude and this female and that female. She was going off. And I was like, wow, that's interesting. The level of aggression to the circumstance. And I'm like, y'all can hear your point you're trying to make, but it's personal. And you can tell that it's personal because you're losing self-control on explaining it. For the most part, we only gravitate to these things, like I said before, because it makes your voice louder, because it's in a group. And the more people who's heard these terms or has gravitated to these terms in the means of their definition, recognize that I, I synchronize with that or I, I, I have um, indicative feelings to that we got to be mindful when we cross referencing how society put things in reference to what we say when we talking about we dealing with divine energy divine is dealing in unconditional love they easily slighted that motion to make you bring in a negative vibe or a disrespectful vibe. Now, moreover to the point, it doesn't particularly say divine is guiding anybody to do anything. That's unbeknownst to you. That shouldn't be your point. Your point is anybody you meet, you carry with un unconditional love towards them and divine guidance. Everyone you meet, even if they don't need it, you carrying that. That's your character. That's the character you're trying to make your new character unbeknownst to everything you went through in your life so you're shedding everything you went through in your life to now envelop yourself in divine pretense as your character so therefore everybody you meet at that point now on is meeting you on a divine pretense level because you're bringing unconditional love to everyone it doesn't matter the character of those people now when 
you plant the seed of divine love in no matter whoever you cross, whether it's a narcissist or a great person, that seed is going to grow. That's the mission in itself. If I put the term out there before you even get the chance into the mission, you know what happens? You put boundaries up. You put boundaries up and you never even get a chance to go through it with the situation because someone told you about it already. It's like a stop sign. I need a pre-warning for if I'm walking with the guidance of divine. Like we keep missing the point. It keeps finding a way to throw a middleman in between you and the divine and your decisions. This system of things. It finds a way to put something in between you and the divine every single time. And you agree. You agree instead of studying incremental science. And watching how the breakdown changes and a new one comes into a cert because you are raising your vibration. You are learning to accept all things. You are becoming one with yourself, knowing your chemistry makeup and your volatility, moving more in a curved motion like wisdom. Divine doesn't have to send you a mission if you're already walking in that grace. Your mission is every day. We don't have to single out anything to make a point. The point is every day. Some people search for knowledge. Some people seek to obtain. Some people just have it. All of it's the same if I get out of my way, right? Because that's how it comes in. It's incremental knowledge. It's always me and my thoughts, the idea I'm manifesting, and then me running back to the divine to make it better. For most part, people forget the divine and they run all the way through it. And somebody tells them at the end of their rope, you should have incorporated divine in that. to know you have to start the basics and the basics is just allowing the vibration of the divine in your life that is natural that is natural that is sun that is moon that is earth that is wind that is water that is everything natural and that's giving thanks that's knowing That's working in the same energy of existence. Feel it. You get that first thought sometimes, and it's telling you to do the right thing, go with it. Don't be the person to say, I had that thought, that, that first thought, and I didn't go with it. Don't be that person. That's divine telling you, yo, I got you. Follow that. Work those unseen muscles that you might just think a little crazy sometimes. Incorporate that with a step towards divine before you make a motion. Say divine, go before me, please. Know that I'm weak in this flesh, divine, please go before me. And guide me the way you see fit. And that how you see fit.